Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. I was told that I need to tell y'all what's happening. <laughs> Slip loves the way I say that. Thank you guys so much for all the support on the Ark series, guys. As always, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to give me some dab on that like button to show you support for the series. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So I'm in my little house, in my Cajun kitchen, and I thought I would cook up some kibble today. I really want to get a high-level Argentavis. I think it's time. I already have hot wings out there, which is good for a well-rounded bird and a hunting buddy, but now I'm ready for a serious mount to fly around with. So I think that's what I'm going to be going. So I just need to grab a couple of water skins, which I have in my new little water tap. And I've got all the other ingredients here, as well as a couple of stego eggs. So all in all, it should be fine. We've got some prime meat jerky, some stego eggs, some citronol, some medjo berries, a couple of water skins, and the fiber, of course. So, oh, and I always do that. I always burn myself. Uh, but the tap is, the, having the tap in here is so nice, you guys. I get to just make out what I want for dyes and, and everything else. And even though most of the house is already done, there still are some things. I'm not going to crowd it yet. I'm just going to keep it convenient right now because I don't know what kind of furnishings that they're going to be adding soon. So it should be any moment that I cook up one of these kibble. Any day now. There it is. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to return the extra citronol because I don't really need it. But uh, this is the favorite kibble of Argentava. So we're going to go up to the mountain with hot wings today and try to find ourselves a high level one. I'm going to finish cooking up this kibble and I'll meet you guys back when I spot one. All right, you guys. I spotted a 104 and I think I'm going to try to take that. I've been looking for quite a while. So... What I think I'm going to do is try to lead him to an area that isn't so hard to form. Because I'm on the North Island. Let's see here. So, which one is it? Okay, that's the 104 right there. So, I need to kill this guy. And what I think I'm going to do is get him a little bit further out. I need to probably kill this scorpion too, just in case. What level is this guy? 68. Alrighty. So this looks like a pretty safe area. And they're busy over there. That's good. Okay. I'm going to whistle passive. And I'm going to go over here and grab him. Let's see. i am got to make sure I got stone arrows in here to kill the one that I don't want. Let's see. Is that the one that I do want? Wait, where? Where'd he go? Oh, no. That's the 104. Okay. Where's the other one? It looks like there's a saber over there, too. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. Actually, what I think I'm going to do instead is load the tranks up. Let's see. I should be able to outrun them if it's a big deal. I know I have the, the tranks loaded up. There we go. All right. And this is the 104, right? I don't know if I hit him. All right, that one hit him for sure. Come on, baby. Okay. Coast is clear. Hit him again. This is the 36. All right, that one's out. Oh, that was some lag, huh? This should kill him pretty quick. There we go. Okay, he's down, but I don't need him. What I think I'll do is just leave him right here. And let's start the taming off. So we got a couple kibble on this guy. Oh, wait. Let me get some regular meat as well. I think... 
I should have some on hot wings. Oh good, regular meat. Okay, that's what I wanted. And the prime, I don't think he'll eat it. Actually, the prime might can go first. No way, <laughs> it's not going to last. I just thought about it. Okay, no problem. So, 104. Let's start it off here. Two kibble, 19 meat. All right, and what I should probably do is when I need, when it goes to his first feeding, I think I'm just going to grab and harvest the um, this one. Because the unconscious, yeah, <laughs> it's just pretty much waiting for me to harvest it. All right, so I think it's 80 points that it, it harvests that, so we've got a little bit to go. Hopefully these two kibble will be enough, and as long as I can keep everything guarded, it should be all right. Let's get hot wings over here just in case we need it. Come on, hot wings. Over here. Very good. All right, chill out right there. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we can keep them. Uh, we can keep them occupied here. All right, two kibbles not going to be a whole lot, so the prime is going to definitely help a lot. All right, guys, he's still at fifty-one taming effectiveness. We're on our last piece of meat. I don't think we're going to get him with this. So he just ate again. Yeah, we definitely need some more. So this is what I've been doing. I have hot wings set to aggressive and long range target. That way anything that comes close will be attacked first before it gets to the bird, like if any scorpions or whatever, which hot wings should be able to handle that. And I've been running here. And you see this Argent? Watch this. Stone arrows. Crossbow. Oh, <laughs> okay, never mind. Watch this instead. There we go. All right, so all we need to do is harvest this guy. Come on, only one prime from that. Okay, no problem. But we still got to run it over and fix him up. So that's what I've been doing, uh, just to kind of keep it going. Because if I come, if I come back to this area and nothing's guarding the bird, it's a chance that something spawns. When I tamed on the old serve on the North Island, that's how things went. So I'm hoping that it's pretty good. And I'll have to run back and do that really quickly again before it eats. Still at perfect taming effectiveness. I really hope we get a perfect tame with this guy. It would be awesome. 51 levels is what we started with. So as long as we can get 51 levels again by the time we finish, it'll be great. 50 levels I'll take too. <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can find another one of these. This run speed has proven to be invaluable, by the way. So let's see here. It doesn't look like any other origins are around. I just need to go a little bit further in, I guess. I gotta be careful because if saber tooths, you know, kind of spawn in and there's two or three of them, it could be really bad. I don't see any more origins. Oh, I see some origins here, but it looks like this is really messy. Yeah, I don't think I want to go in there. Hmm. Let's just fire a couple of shots in. See what we get. I can outrun all these guys. Okay, I killed a corno. That'll work. <laughs> Let's get some more shots in here. I could just run up and get what I need out of there. It would be nice if I can kill this corno. I don't even know what level this guy is, but he's probably pretty high. Oh, and here he comes. Alright, this is going to be bad. Oh, he's 116. We got to go. We got to go. I cannot fight this guy. Holy cow. Okay, eat some prime. Alright, I think he might have left me alone. If I get far enough away from him, maybe so. Looks like he's still following me. Yeah, we gotta go, man. I gotta get to a place to where he can't get me. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There's a saber right there, too. Man, this is bad news. Bad, bad, bad news. I gotta get back. 
I could probably kill him with my Argent. In fact, I know I can kill him with my Argent. Uh oh. Rock in a hard place. Whew. I think I might have got away from him. Okay. Hot Wings is still guarding. Alright, he's a coming. Hot Wings, come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta do this, man. Let's do this. Guy's really high level. Whew. Thank goodness for Hot Wings, huh? Alright. I got a couple prime. And... Oh, wait. Where... There. Here we go. Prime, prime. I don't know if I got there in time. Did he eat anything? What's his taming effect on this at? 98.4. Ah, still 51 levels. You guys, I think I'm going to get this perfect tame. Looks like we should be fine with this. No threats in the area. I cannot believe. Oh, I lucked out so much with that corno following me all the way over here. So 98.2 effectiveness, but 51 levels. As soon as it drops to 50 food, I should be fine. Oh man. I think I'll be I think I'll be good, guys. I actually think I'll be good. Um Let's see. I need to eat another thing to refill my health a little bit. I'm glad I can keep guard with Hot Wings like that. That was great that I can tame with them like that. And let's see. Hot Wings is a female. Hmm. This one's going to be a male. I think I'm going to call this one Dusk, you guys. Because it's gray in color all over the place. And it just has a little shade of tan on the top. I think that would be a good male bird name. So let's see where it's at here. 74. A couple more points to go. I might as well finish harvesting this guy out. Anything on it? No. I'll just grab some more meat. One more prime. Yeah, we were set. Well, this worked out really good. How's your meat situation, Hot Wings? You're good. Probably need to get rid of some of this junk. Man, there's a lot on you. I don't need all this spoiled. Um... And I think we're pretty good. I'll throw away the Argent Claws. Everything else should be relatively good. 61. 10 more points and he'll tame out. Oh man, I'm so excited. This is so awesome. Perfect tame. This is my first ever perfect tame. Now, I've gotten some real high before, but a level 104, I mean, it could have been a 120, but honestly, guys, this thing is going to tame out at 155. That's a great start for a bird. I'm really happy with it. It's going to serve me for a very, very long time. 52, 51. And that's it. Dusk. Welcome to the family, Dusk. Wow. Aren't you a beauty? So stats. 1798 starting health. 2400 starting stamina. Uh, its carry weight is 504. And its melee is 382. That's really, really good, man. So I went ahead and put the saddle on Dusk, and the white looks really good on him. I really want to play around with him. So, Hot Wings, if you would care to follow me, let's go kill a couple of things.
So guys, I'm around where the compound used to be in this little cove right behind it and where the hidden lake is. And supposedly Corrales lives back here. He invited me to come on by and check his place out. And I gotta tell you, it looks sweet. He's got a few little dinos out here. Nice. Perfect little place to take a pit stop. Let's see here. Uh... Okay. <laughs> You're just gonna fly around there like he's crazy. Look at this. He's got a little dock out to the lake. And... Wow, he's got a little shed here. Oh, I really like the design. Le Corrales Mansion. <laughs> I love it. And there he is right there. I'm gonna give him something. What can I give him? He has this... I wonder if this one's better. Yeah, 77.4. I'm gonna give him this as a gift. Can I make a note? Hold on here. Let's go to Ingram Points. Unlearn Note. Can we just craft a note? Let's see. We need some fiber. Does he have any fiber on him? I'm sure he does. Uh, let's see. No, he has no fiber on him. Let's see if he has any in his storage chests. Aha! Uh -huh. That should work. We'll craft it. Love the new spot. If I could spell. <laughs> and I'll just put that on his body right here. There we go. <laughs> Leave him a little note. Cool. Well, now it's time to get back home, I think. How do I get out of here? Aha! Let me close the door behind me. Alright guys, so we are back at the house with the birds and I wanted to show y'all some of the war painting stuff that I got. So, I got a brush and Drax loaned me a little bit of dye because I was kind of low on it. So I'm going to go ahead and refill the dye. Watch what you can do with these things. So you can go up to any of your tames, left click, or people <laughs> for that matter. And it shows right here what the controls are. You can also hold control and you can left click and drag and move the bird around. You can zoom in with the mouse wheel and if you left click you see how I'm, I'm coloring it right here? You can also shift the left click for some thick paint. And it does some really, really cool stuff to the bird. So I'm going to erase this because I want to keep hot wings the way it is. But I think I want to theme dusk a little bit differently. And uh, what better of a fitting time to show you than at night? Look at him. Wow, huh? Totally white. Except for his eyes, which I put some black stripes on. Uh, let me go gamma right here. Gamma 3. So you can see a little bit better. Look at this guy. He is solid white. And I think I want to name him something a little bit different. So let's go to change name. And I'm going to put Z in brackets like I always do to label him. And I'm going to call him something different. Archangel. <laughs> Arc is, you know, you, you get it. It's not A-R-C-H. It's not A-R-C. It's A-R-K because it's Arc. And now we have Archangel. He is beautiful. I leveled him up a little bit since too. And uh, he's at 163. His stats are absolutely amazing. I'm going to keep on pumping melee until it's about 1,000. Uh, his health's pretty good right now. His stamina is also really good. I put a little bit in the movement speed, not thinking about it. But I'm going to bring his melee up to 1,000 before I start pumping movement speed. And then we're going to make him a little bit more well-rounded. But, oh man, he's beautiful. I really like him. I hope you guys did too. That's going to be it for this episode, you guys. I hope you all really enjoyed it now that it's raining. Next time we come back, we'll probably get together with the guys and do some fun stuff. But it was always a pleasure. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe to the channel for more daily content, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljan signing off, and we'll see you next time.